Hi, I'm Cheryl, and yes, I'm drawing with marker pens. I've chosen to draw a cowboy this time, and I've sketched it from a reference picture to get the basic details and shape. I love the alcohol marker pens. They used to frighten me at first. I always test out the colours before I use them, especially the flesh tones, so that I can work out which order to use them. Here I am now building up the shadows. Always work from light to dark and build up the layers. It's like that pretty well in most art. I have many brands of markers and I try them out on paper before to make sure that they blend well. I always tend to make the eyes larger, it's just me. I think because the eyes are the focal point, I seem to put more effort into them and they become bigger. I've never claimed to be a photorealist artist, so I'm fine with that. I quite like them. I think they're cute with the big eyes. It's funny, I really love using the alcohol markers now. They used to be so scary. They are a bit smelly, that's the only issue, but they're just so permanent and I used to do a lot of digital art, so not being able to erase them has been an issue, but if, as long as you work from light to dark and you've already tested the colors, you should be okay. sometimes get to a point in my art where I don't think it's going to work out and that's that's okay because it's always a learning thing unless I'm doing an illustration for somebody and I need to get it right but they always seem to come together at the end
wish I hadn't used this marker pen as it's not an alcohol one so it won't blend and it's way too dark. I really love drawing with these marker pens now. Originally they scared me because they're just so permanent but now I've learned to handle them better. It's quite okay to mix and match them. At first I thought you had to stick to one brand, but once I started using the different ones because I didn't have the right color, I found that they all work quite well. Some don't blend as well, but you soon learn which ones do. I love using the white gel pens to highlight the eyes and just put little tips of light 
in like the nose and the lips and the hair and, and different parts of the material design. Now the background needs to be fairly subtle here because I want him to pop out from it and I've just chosen to do some clouds, not too much. Building up the shadows gives a lot more depth. That non-alcohol marker brown is really annoying me, but I think it'll still work out in the long run. And I start to use the pale greys for this because the colours still come through. I'm quite pleased with this drawing now. I think he's a, a, a lovely dapper cowboy. What do you think? Leave some comments below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I'll be putting, hopefully every two weeks, I'll be putting videos out because I'm drawing very regularly now. And it's, as I said, they're part of some children's books that I'm putting together and some how-to books that I'm putting together. So I have committed to do, do a lot more drawing. If you have a go at doing a drawing with marker pens or even copying this one, let me know. Show me on Instagram. Just tag me, Cheryl Cadzo Artist, and I'll have a look at it. That would be really fun. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to be so much more prolific at the work. I've got my studio set up now with my lights and camera and I have the camera set up above the drawing tables and this will be a lot better for me and I should be a lot more productive. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.